Now we want to use exponents and polynomials to solve problems. We first need to look at the five laws of exponents. In order to multiply with the same base, we add exponents. If we have a raised to the m power times a raised to the n power, then we add m plus n, we get a raised to the n plus m power. To divide with the same base, we subtract exponents, which is the natural opposite thing to do. a raised to the m power divided by a raised to the n power, we take m minus n, a raised to the m minus n power. Next, we take a power of a power, we multiply the exponents. If you have a raised to the m power all to the n power, we get a raised to the m times n. Suppose we have some things multiplied. To take the power of a product, we raise each part to the power. a b is a product because it's multiplied, and product means multiply. Raised to the m power, we take a to the m power times b to the n power. And finally, to raise a fraction to a power, we raise both the numerator as well as the denominator to the power. So you have a divided by b raised to the m power, we raise a to the nth power as well as b to the n power. Let's look at some examples here. We have 2 to the 3rd times 2 to the 7th. Since the bases are the same, we keep the base 2. 3 plus 7 is 10. Now this is the answer, but normally if we have numbers, we can simplify this, multiplying it out or using our calculator to 1,024. If we have r to the 4th times r to the 7th, since the bases are the same, we can add exponents r to the 11th. What happens if we have w to the third raised to the fifth power? We have a power of a power that will give us w2 that we multiply 15th power. If we have 2x raised to the third, we have a product, things multiplied. We take 2 and raise that to the third power as well as x raised to the third power. Now 2 to the third power we should not leave in that form. 2 times 2 times 2, so our result is 8x to the third power. Watch carefully on letter E, 5 times 8x squared. First, let's focus on the parentheses here. So we take 8 to the second power times x to the second power. And let's just bring down the 5 for the moment. 8 squared would be 64x squared. But now we want to make this nicer, so 5 times 64 is 320x to the second power. Lastly, let's look at a fraction here. 3x over y squared, the whole thing cubed. First, we raise the whole numerator to the third power, which means we have to raise 3 to the third power and x to the third power. The denominator, we take y to the second to the third, and that's a power of a power. 2 times 3 is 6. But once again, you don't leave 3 cubed in this form. 3 times 3 times 3, so our answer would be 27x cubed divided by y to the sixth. Next, we want to look at some polynomial definitions. A term is a single number or letter or combination of them multiplied, like 7 times a times b to the second. Since they're all multiplied, it's still a single term. A polynomial, usually means more than one, is one or several whole number powers of a variable. 7x to the second power minus 4 plus 9x. If they're in descending order according to the powers of x, we, that's the normal way we like to write our polynomials. A numerical coefficient is the number in front of the given term, like 5x to the third, 5 would be the numerical coefficient. A polynomial can, can contain one term, called a monomial, two terms, a binomial, or three terms, a trinomial. So 4b would be a monomial, since there's one term. a plus 2b, there are two terms, so that would be a binomial. And 4x squared minus 3x plus 7 would be a trinomial. Let's identify some of the parts for 11x squared minus 9x plus 12. First, since it has one, two, three terms, we identify this as a trinomial. Notice it is in descending order. The reason for that is x squared. There's an understood one here. So because the exponents are going down, we say it's in descending order. <clears throat> it's a polynomial in x because all the terms have an x. Suppose we want to find the value of g if x equal 2 in this original polynomial. So we replace x, the letter, with a number 2 in every situation. 11 times 2 squared, order of operations, we have to do the 2 squared first. 
9 times 2 is 18, plus 12. 11 times 4 gives us 44, minus 18 plus 12. Let's do the positives together first. 44 plus 12 gives us 56, minus 18. So we're left with 38 would be the value.